Hello, this week we're gonna be talking about an abstract artist um, that was born in 1866 and passed away in 1944. And this is Vasily Kandinsky. Um, he was really truly the abstract artist which took color and form and created um, artwork that created a life of their own. So he was born in Moscow um, into a wealthy family and when he first started out, his early education was in law. He um, studied to be a lawyer, and um, he realized early on that he did not want to be a lawyer, and then he went to art school. So I have loaded a couple of videos that you can learn about his um, career and about the schools that he went to for art school, but this is one of his pieces, and you can see how abstract it is. And the reason that we can tell it is abstract is because of the lines, the shape, the colors and the designs. Um, typically with abstract art, you really cannot recognize anything realistic. All right, so he did a lot with line and um, different shapes and he loved the circle shape. Um, if you look up, and I'll probably post this on my page too, um, about his concentric circles. Um, but that's one um, book I wanted to show you with that. And um, what influenced uh, Kandinsky to leave a promising teaching career. He went on to also be a teacher, um, and it was actually Claude Monet's Haystacks. And he said that this really struck, um, he was struck by the fairy tale power and splendor of these and the impression that he could see rather than the realistic haystack. So he went on to really explore color and shapes and that type of thing. Um, here is a better photograph of Kandinsky, and this is actually one of his abstract pieces. And this piece is, um, looks like he created this in Munich. So he was born in Moscow in Russia, and he went on to live in uh, Munich, which is actually where I was born, Munich, Germany, for much of his life. life. And he um, actually formed a group um, called the, um, oh, what were they? Uh, the Blue Painters, or Blue, yeah, I think that was the name of them. But they um, had a group of different artists that really explored artwork. Now, you're going to learn a term about um, Kandinsky, and it's really fascinating to Miss Clegg, but it is um, called Sinishi, Sinishi, oh, Gosh, I'm awful at saying words that I'm not used to saying. Um, synesthesia. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness, I can't say it very well. But I hope that you um, learn about this special word. Maybe you'll be able to say it better than I can. But really, we found out that Kandinsky was able, when he listens to music, he was able to listen and hear music and see colors while he um, actually was listening to music. So, which brings me to this awesome book. I can't wait to tell you about this. This is The Noisy Paint Box. All right, so here we go. Hope you enjoy my coffee chat. Better take a sip of my coffee. So the noisy paint box, the colors and sounds of Kandinsky's abstract art. Vasily Kandinsky spent his days learning to be a proper Russian boy. He studied bookfuls of math, science, and history. He practiced piano scales to the marching click of the metronome. He sat stiff and straight at dressed up dinners while the grown-ups talked and talked and talked. <laughs> Vasya's well-off world was perfectly polite until the day his aunt gave him a small wooden paint box. I have a small wooden paint box. Let me show it to you. See, it's wooden, but it actually is for my crayons. But this is pretty special. I'll show it to you. Isn't that cool? These are really, these are beeswax crayons, and I got this when I was a little girl. Just like he got a little wooden box that had painting stuff. Every proper Russian boy should appreciate art, said Auntie. She showed Vasha the way to mix colors on the paint box palette. Now it's interesting that they call this 
um, character in the book, Vasha, um, and Kandinsky was um, Vosley. Hmm, interesting. I love the artwork in this artwork, in this book. The illustrations are just vibrant and beautiful. Vasya mixed red and yellow, then he mixed red with blue. As the colors changed, Vasya heard a whisper, hiss, louder, hiss, then still hiss. What's that sound? asked Vasya. I don't hear a thing, said Auntie. Vasya listened as his brush stirred and swished. The swirling colors trilled like an orchestra tuning up for a magical symphony. Mama, Papa, called Vasya. What a noisy paint box. Silly, Vasile, Vasily, said Papa. Stop being foolish, said Mama. Vasya painted the sound of the colors. He spun a bright lemon circle onto the canvas. It clinked like the highest notes on the keyboard. He brushed a powerful navy rectangle that vibrated deeply like the lowest cello strings. He tossed up jagged swashes of blaring crimson and added cheerful dots of burbling green, clanging orange, and tinkling violet. Vasha painted and painted until the colors went quiet. I love the way that the adjectives work in these sentences. Look what I made, shouted Vasha. Is it a house, said Auntie. Is it a flower, asked Mama. What is it supposed to be? asked Papa. It's music, said Vasya, waltzing his painting around the house. Calm down, said Mama. Do some math, said Papa. Heaven, said Auntie, this boy needs proper art class. So Vasya went to art class and learned to draw houses and flowers just like everyone else. As the years passed, Vasya finished school and studied to be a lawyer. He ignored his noisy paint box and lived the way people expected. But Vasya couldn't ignore the sounds of the colors singing to him in the streets of Moscow. The canary-colored mailbox whistling as he rode to work. The scarlet sunset haze ringing above the ancient Kremlin walls. An ivory course of snowflakes scattered on the sable collar of his overcoat. Isn't the artwork beautiful? One evening, suitably steamed in starch, Vasya attended the opera. As the orchestra's music crashed around him, the colors of the noisy paint box twirled wildly in his mind. Stomping lines of vermilion and coral, caroling triangles in pistachio and garnet, thundering arches of aqua and ebony, with shrill points of cobalt and saffron. Vasya heard the color singing. Vasya saw the music dancing. So this is what happened to Kandinsky. He describes listening to music as seeing colors. And this is actually conditioned. Some people can actually um, hear or see colors as they're listening to music. You'll learn more about that in my lesson this week. And Vasya was never quite as proper again. He quit his job teaching law and moved from Moscow to Munich to be a painter. He studied with this famous teacher, then that one. Is it a house? Is it a flower? What is it supposed to be? His teachers asked. Vasya wanted to paint the colors he heard, but maybe the famous teachers knew best. Once again, Vasya put houses and flowers, animals and people into his paintings, just like everyone expected. The teachers were happy. Vasya was not. His artist friends understood. They too were tired of painting pretty landscapes and pretty ladies. They thought art needed to change. Art should make you feel, Vasya told them, like music. Exactly, said his friends, but none of them knew how to paint feelings until the day Vasya grew brave enough and invented the world to see the paintings roaring from his noisy paint box. Rattle, whistle, murmur, zip, clang, bash. 
I love it. Snapping serulin points, crunching crimson squares, whispering charcoal lines, Vasya named these paintings after the music he loved. Improvisation, composition, accompany it, fugue movement, and simply three sounds. With his noisy paint box, Vasya Kandinsky created something entirely new, abstract art. It took a long time for people to understand. Is it a house? Is it a flower? What is it supposed to be? It's my art, Vasya answered. How does it make you feel? How does this make you feel, boys and girls? It makes me feel happy. This is an awesome book. So I am going to take some pictures of this and I'll load it onto my art lesson. So if you want to read more about Kandinsky, you can learn more about him. But I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope this week you take some time to make a piece of abstract art. I know I will and I can't wait to share it with you.